I started reading a book called American Concentration Camps. So I brought it to my grandparents' house for Thanksgiving, and my grandpa came around and said, what are you reading there? And I said, oh, I'm reading a book about camps. Do you know anything about this? And, and it was the first time he ever opened up since that experience. A lot of the Japanese didn't really talk about those days, right? I never told my children about it. I never really wanted to talk about it. The day or two before we left towards camp, he said, just remember, you kids, you were born here. You are Americans. You must be loyal to the United States because you were born Americans. I know we're going to camp, but it's because we are aliens of a country that never gave us citizenship. We were evacuated and moved to Santa Anita racetrack where we lived in the um, stables. I remember the barbed wires. I remember the machine guns, you know, pointing down towards us. To us, it was very sad. Being sent to camp was really devastating. I think it did a lot to a lot of the Japanese Issei's. Some people, I don't think, felt that way. I didn't waste any time. I kept on learning. Then I started the Shigin after I entered the Camp Manzana. For the first time, the parents didn't have to work, and so they were enjoying learning different crafts or music. It's beautiful how they preserved and kept their dignity. What they did or what they didn't have. The camp days were terrible, and yet at the same time, it gave me a lot of strength for life after. Thank you.